First, though, a somber weekend lies ahead as the city of Orlando and the LGBTQ community mark five years since Pulse. The concerns some are raising for survivors and the loved ones left behind. June 12, 2016 is a day that Central Florida will never forget. Good evening. I'm Justin Mormuth. Matt Austin has the night off. And I'm Lisa Bell. Tomorrow marks five years since the shooting. People across Central Florida have taken time to pay tribute to the victims and survivors this week. Those events kicked off with the 4.9K Community Rainbow Run on Saturday. Monday night, people gathered at the Dr. Phillips Center to talk about the impact of the shooting, all in hopes of bridging the gap between the LGBTQ community and the faith-based community. And just last night, members of the UCF community gathered to remember the 49 victims. A UCF student and a UCF graduate were among those killed. Flags across Florida will be at half staff tomorrow in honor of Pulse Remembrance Day. Here in Orlando, the One Pulse Foundation will host a remembrance ceremony. That ceremony at the Pulse Interim Memorial is only open to the families of the victims, survivors, and first responders. But the public is invited to watch it live on the front lawn of the Dr. Phillips Center or right here on News 6. Keep in mind, the city will close Orange Avenue tomorrow morning between Cayley and Harding. That closure runs from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. People turned out today to pay their respects at the former nightclub, which now serves as the interim memorial. For some, it was emotional. This weekend is expected to bring us painful feelings for many people here in Central Florida. New 6's Troy Campbell talked with one professional about the unexpected impact tomorrow could have. With Saturday marking five years since the murder of 49 people here at Pulse, mental health experts say people could be experiencing stress and anxiety. We spoke with a mental health expert who says now is the time to check in on a loved one that may be affected. You are remembered in every poem, in every mural, and in every memorial. Honoring the 49 lives taken at Pulse five years ago, a group lighting candles and reading poems at the Pulse Memorial site located at Colonial Square Park. Michael Muller says with Saturday looming close, emotions can run high. I don't know that there's a word in the dictionary that could describe it in any language, frankly. Stephanie Preston Hughes is a licensed mental health counselor for Orange Counseling. She says even though several years have gone by, someone's grief may still feel overwhelming. That people are finding themselves to be impacted emotionally in ways they didn't quite expect. Um, I thought I was over the worst of it. Preston Hughes says people could still suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder despite not being at the club that night. What I say is that a trauma response from our body is an ordinary response to an extraordinary situation. Orlando City Commissioner Patty Sheehan saying more money needs to be allocated to provide mental health resources for survivors. Those young people saw things that men who go to war don't see. I know how traumatized they were. I didn't see half of what they saw and it was awful and we need to continue to take care of them. State Representative Ana Eskamani says, with events taking place around town this week, it's important for people to take time for themselves. To be among others that are also in the process of grieving and reflection, it's comforting because moments like this, everyone grieves in a different way and sometimes you wanna be alone, but other times you wanna be around those that are in the same place as you. Preston Hughes encourages anyone who needs someone to speak to to reach out to a mental health provider, including the center in Orlando, which specializes in LGBTQ related issues. Outside of Pulse, Troy Campbell getting results, New 6.